Ah, hi, Bella. <laughs> Continuing our conversation. I liked your story. <laughs> it was fun. Um, yeah, it's kind of reminds me of the good old days. Um, it's kind of funny about the whole thing. It's like, you know, stuff happens, and it's like fixing the problem is more trouble than the problem. You know, it's like it's better to just remain a criminal than it is to try to explain, yes, I was drunk and I stole your bicycle. I mean, it is, it is kind of silly that that's what it comes to, you know, in this world that um, you can't undo anything, you know, but somehow they've, they've made all the undo buttons worse, you know, than actually living with the problem, uh, just maintaining the problem. Somehow the repairs have gotten um, more risky than, uh, you know, living with the, the flaw, living with the brokenness. And uh, so anyway, that's for the next video. So I'll just keep it um, simple here. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, it was kind of weird when you said, um, it's not that I don't like you or something. I was almost like, oh, you know, she almost doesn't like me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I never disliked you as a person. I just, <clears throat> you know, get so angry because um, as explained in the next video, I mean, there's this whole thing that has to happen in the world for the world to get rational. And I just think that the philosophy you were preaching was just so um, unconstructive, uh, destructive to that cause. And so it's like, you know, I didn't, I didn't have any choice but to eradicate you in my brain because that's the only way I could make sense of it. It's... Um, it's kind of like maybe relationships you have with your family, you know, it's like some things you have to accept in them and you're almost like you have to just forget that that's the person they are. Because if you remember that, it's going to make you insane. Or if you keep it in front of you. So, but whatever. I mean, I think we've always kind of understood each other in a lot of ways. I mean, I think we'd be comfortable with each other. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I mean, it's that uh, ideology thing is... Yeah, I live by it, you know, it's just, you know, I, I don't find any other excuse for my continued existence. I mean, I'd probably still exist, even if I didn't have a mission, because I'd make some kind of dopey excuse just to put dying off, because dying's a pain in the ass. Um, <clears throat> but really, yeah, I mean, it's sort of the focus of my existence is this getting something done thing, you know, accomplishing something. And um, so anything that gets in the way of that, or anything I see as a threat to that in any way, I'm going to be hostile. <clears throat> and it's, it is really kind of stupid. It is just YouTube, and it's, you know, it's really pretty irrelevant. Um, but it's like if you're throwing pennies in the fountain and somebody's catching them, <laughs> you know, before they hit the water, it would just irritate you. You have to do something about it because it's like your little wish penny, and uh, you don't want somebody to fuck it up. Um, so anyway, yeah, so just I'll just tell a couple of drunk stories, too, because it is funny how you, you gain a lot of perspective. Um, you know, I didn't do, I don't, I don't do much getting drunk thing anymore, but in my youth, <laughs> you know, it, it was something that happened a few times. <laughs> um, and it's kind of funny because it's like, um, you know, getting drunk is kind of, well, it's okay, but it's, eh, <laughs> you know, it's funny is what it is. I mean, you laugh a lot getting there. But you really don't have any perspective, and then it's like you you peak, and the peak is kind of I always thought kind of sucked. Like the drunkest state, you know, that's no good. And so if you pass out, that's good. And if you wake up and you're okay, well that's good because then you're a little off the peak. And uh, and you know, but that walking thing, it really is. Um, I mean, those are the drunks I remember more than any other are the ones where I'm walking home at like three in the morning. Um, and, uh, you know, you're all proud of yourself just because you're staying on the sidewalk, you know. It's like it's a four-foot-wide sidewalk, which you're like, hey, I'm doing really good because I'm staying on the sidewalk. Um, but, yeah, I've seen UFOs, <laughs> you know. Uh, it's like, I uh, felt like I was in the middle of a hurricane, you know, and the wind might have been blowing five miles an hour. Um, it's just, it's an adventure, you know, walking while inebriated. Um, and especially if it's late and it's quiet and, you know, the world is kind of dull and you can just kind of stagger through it, um, it's remains, it's kind of like a ghost town or something. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> those are just kind of charming memories. And like I said, I'm not a big fan of, you know, like I said, it's most of getting drunk is just being an asshole. 
but it does have those moments, you know, where things just, you know, um, where it's pretty mellow and uh, pretty cool. So anyway, I, yeah, that's really enough. <laughs> you know, I guess I don't have to tell all of them. I remember another one though, where I went swimming. You know, it was like in a summer. It was really hot, and um, like we were at some girl's house, and, she, she, and we, ended, we ended up in her br little brother's clothes. <laughs> you know, I so wear like these clothes that like the pants only go to my knees, and it was just so funny. And uh, so then, you know, eventually I ended up walking home, and it's like, yeah, I mean, like half wet like little kid clothes <laughs> you know walking through the center of our town and i'm just like you know if somebody would have saw me i mean i just would have been you know it would have been just so funny um but you know at the time you think oh yeah well this makes sense i'll get away with this no one's no one's gonna notice um you know and the next day you just like you, know, you just laugh like what the hell was i thinking so but anyway yeah this is good stuff uh, but don't, you know, <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, it's been able to draw those lines and all that stuff, you know, some people, it's not a good thing. So anyway, that's about all. It's, I'm tired, <laughs> depressed, and disgusted, and it's snowing like hell. Ugh, I don't want to deal with that. So anyway, that's all. Just a little video. Just <laughs> continue the conversation. So, hi, how are you? Till next time.